Hey, welcome back. This is Carlos Cavallo from DatingAdviceGuru.com, your friendly neighborhood dating advice and relationship advisor. Today we're going to talk about how to get him to notice you. Seven tips. I'm sure you've probably bought a new outfit or you've got some new piece of jewelry and you've worn it out to an event only to have nobody really notice it. No one comments, hey, that's really awesome, or you just don't get the, the looks or the interest that you want. Maybe you've been dating a guy for a while and you feel like he's paying attention to everybody else but you. These things are disappointments and they're difficult to work through, especially if you've built up a little story in your head about getting that attention. When it comes to people we value, we want to feel valued back. Well, that's what I'm going to help you do today. Let's jump in right away with, uh, with the first mistake. You're not going to get attention from a guy. You're not going to get him to notice you by using a gun. I've been in a few relationships where the woman was, unfortunately, a little too insecure. And then she made it my fault she wasn't getting the attention she needed. And then she put the pressure on. That doesn't work. Don't make that mistake. You won't get his attention by force. Mistake number two is you won't get him to notice you by trying to impress him. What you need to do is let him impress you. It's a big difference and something I'm going to talk about here. Too many women are eager to start sharing the other people in their life with him before they let him feel like he's really got your attention. That's what he's got to feel. Once you let a guy think you're impressed by him, you just lean back and let him step up to the plate. He'll earn your attention after that. Okay, let's jump in with get them to pay attention to you. Tip number one, beam the positive. Men are instinctively drawn to bubbly, fun people, especially women. In fact, a lot of women misunderstand the giggly, fun kind of woman and think she's just a bimbo. Well, the reaction that he's giving is he's, he finds her alluring because she's relaxed and fun-loving. It's that carefree part of her. It's not that she's dumb. We all need a little bit of both in us when it comes to being smart, and that's the part that he's finding most attractive, not the dumb part. Get him to notice you. Tip number two, let your body sing. Men are very attracted to women who exude their personality through their body and the way they move. When you're relaxed and you're free in your body, you will come across with a level of confidence and attractiveness that your man will have to pay attention to. Work on letting your body express itself more naturally. If you feel restrained or tight, take some dance classes, take some yoga. It will help you. Get him to see you. Tip number three, don't be a hoe. Women are very critical of other women who beg for attention or work too hard to get attention. Men too. In fact, guys have a term for this kind of woman, attention whore. No, it's not a pretty term, but it sums up the situation really well. Yep, this is the kind of woman that most other women roll their eyes at because, well, you kind of remember being a teenager once, right? Being a little low self-esteem. But sadly, some women never grow up. You don't want to look like you're begging for him to see you. If you have to do that, you're only lowering your value in his eyes. Make your man notice you. Tip number four, show him the spark. A lot of women think that men are looking for a woman of lesser intelligence, mostly because everybody knows that guys are threatened by smart women, right? Uh, that's BS, and I'm hoping you know it is already, but you might not. All the stereotypes of men make us look like we're scared and intimidated by any woman that challenges us, and that's completely wrong. The messy truth is that if he's the kind of guy you want and the kind of guy you'd marry, he won't back down from a woman who's smart and fun. If you dumb yourself down first, though, you'll never know what kind of man you could have had. How to get him to notice you, tip number five, get a little aggro. This one falls in line with the last tip a little bit in that you want him to hit, you want to hit him with a little bit of your energy. Demure and shy is nice, but a man will really take notice of a woman who dares to go out on a limb a little bit and get aggressive. If you try to be too nice early on or even later on, you risk not leaving him with, well, basically your face floating in his thoughts. A man has to have that emotional image in his brain to tell him who to pay attention to. It tells him which woman he's obsessed with. All right, get him to notice you. Tip number six, diva up. It's commonly held that divas are not popular in any social circle, but the beauty of being a diva for your man is that it's only temporary because every so often you deserve to be treated like a star. And if you don't demand it every once in a while, your man might assume that you don't have the self-esteem to stand up for yourself or to make yourself a priority. You'd be surprised how few women are really willing to be feminine in this confusing age of gender normalization. Remember, feminine does not equal high maintenance, nor does it equate to politically correct. And let's be brutally honest here. Men don't stay with women that can't make them feel like men. Remember, you're going to do the diva up thing to remind him of the reward he gets 
if he steps up to devote himself to you. He has to know there's a reward for committing to you. All right, make your man pay attention to you. Tip number seven, pays dues. Look, I'll tell you up front that if you're trying to get a man to notice you and pay attention to you and you're not doing anything to notice him back, you're going to have a tough time getting that attention from him. So what I'm talking about here is paying your dues of love to him without the expectations in return or that you're going to get a return. And if you find that he has no love to give you, then you simply move on to a relationship where he does have a full tank to give to you. But don't hold love hostage. Another great quote from Leo Buscalia says, what love we're given, we will have forever. What love we fail to give is lost for all eternity. It's tempting to hold our love hostage and not give it away when we're feeling like we're not getting the love from them. But you can't let yourself become a love miser or a love scrooge. Love is free. It costs nothing to give it away. You have an endless supply of it, and yet we constantly hold back. The irony of love is the more you give, the more you get. The less you give, the hungrier you go to bed at night. And if you want to know the secrets, more secrets to getting a man to unlock his love for you, stay on my channel. Look around. There. I've got a ton of videos here for you. You're going to see one clicking up below. Click on it. Go check it out. And of course, do the big three. Make sure you subscribe so you can get these every week. Number two, like this video. I thought it was pretty good. And number three, leave your comments and questions below. Politely, please. This is Carlos Cavallo from DatingAdviceGuru.com. As always, live and love with passion.